So first drive up with the TSR1, par five here on the fifth hole at Waterfront. As the rain comes down, we are selling this as a uh, warm up to the season. <laughs> We're hoping the season's a little bit better than this. So. A bit warmer and a bit drier, it'd be nice. 40 gram shaft set in the driver. So we know that that's nice and lightweight. We saw that a couple of weeks ago, this performed exceptionally well. So 216 carry going 240 yards. Let's see. Again, a little bit lower there as the dog runs on the screen. We've got, Hello? We've got a busier to... No, no problem. Jasper. Jasper. Jasper onto the golf course. Right, so pretty good. What's yeah. the numbers saying, Dave? Um, I don't know. Let's have a quick look. It will show us. Hmm, 163 carry 163 yards carry. More spin there, so 2-4. So Dave's getting a very low launching shot today. So... Not as high. It's very interesting when we get out on the golf course that it is different to like yeah. what we said when we play inside. So it takes it's just away a bit of confidence, doesn't it? It's up the left-hand side. And Dave's not feeling as confident, but we've got three more drives to hit and get the numbers with. So let's get down there. So another drive, unfortunately, a fairway miss. We're in the thicker rough here, and that's sat down a little bit there. And we've talked about what club to use. Dave's got his four iron. We know obviously from his new set, Dave wouldn't have anything more or stronger than a six iron, would you Dave? Correct. But we've now got a four iron in the bag and this is where I see a lot of people where they would choose a hybrid. I would. Doesn't quite get through the grass as well. And how many times have you just hit it nice and low and 50 yards in front of you, Dave? Yeah, I'd say about 40% of the time. Quite a lot of the time. So this is where we can use an iron now. We're going to get through the grass a little bit, a little bit of a steeper angle of attack with this four iron, and we can get that running down there. Again, it's not going to launch too high, but this will get through that thicker rough a little bit easier than a hybrid. And that's a great example. A little oh, bit on the right side, drawing back nicely, but launched and got out of there easy, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly, because I, you know, if you're in the rough, in in bygone days when I was sort of learning to play golf, they'd always say, don't take a, a, a four iron or anything like that out at rough because it's just going nowhere. But and we can see it's quite lovely. It is very thick here, but yeah. we can still see with an iron we get out there, we get the contact with the hybrid. We might not so not necessarily pick it out as easy. So think about that when you're in the rough, guys. You don't always have to go to a hybrid. It's always an option. And again, it doesn't need to be a four iron, but a six iron might be more beneficial than trying to get a hybrid out of that rough. Right, so a good shot down here. We've uh, just about held the fairway. Just about. But... Depending on the old green keeper's cuts. Mr. Jones has been out here the first cut with his new machine. He was like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> so Dave, we've got 120 yards into this hole. So. Yeah, the four iron's done a great job there out of yes. the rough. It's left him a good angle in. We are still placing, as you have seen Dave just clean and place the ball. But it's a good angle, and it's that club there has not got us into trouble because we knew how far the bunker was. It is now, again, Dave didn't mean to play it up the right-hand side, but it leaves <laughs> us a good angle in and a good club to attack the flag. So not the best drive, but the four iron there has got Dave into a good position where we can hopefully hit the green. And this is where Dave's going to start saving shots, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, common theme here. Not a good drive. Being it, saved it, by some decent iron shots. This is a common theme. Will any of those drivers actually go into Dave's bag Cause at the moment. Not unless they start performing, Chris. No. performing on the golf course. So what club have we got, Dave? Nine iron? It can't iron? be me, can it? Um, nine it's iron, it's yeah. It's never you, Dave. Nine iron. We're going to go just right to the flag here. And the reason why we go for the middle of the green, as always, is because there's trouble left as the rain comes down. So we want to play middle of the green, play safe. If Dave slightly pulls it, it pulls onto the flag. If he pushes it, we're still on the green. That's a fantastic shot. So straight at it, Dave. And that, if we zoom oh, I'll in, tell you what. is another fantastic nine iron. Just, just keep the nine iron, Dave. I know. Favourite club. So if we talk tour average again, we're looking there at, we know from 120 yards, Dave should be looking at 22 feet on average, and Dave is around about seven and a half feet. So two great nine irons there, landing just on the edge of the green and stopping very quickly. And that's what we are trying to say, and that's what we're gonna show you in next week's video. 
when Dave shows you his actual yardages and comparisons against the DCBs, are we getting more distance? Are we just getting more landing angle? That's what we want to show you. And we're gonna do that against all different irons. Dave's obviously spent his money on these irons, not as much as the premium brands. No. But so far, they're performing very well. Dave's worked on his game, which everybody has to work on the game, but he's given himself more chances. And this is to go one under par. Gross. It's never been such terms. And then we're back off the grass. And that's the thing, getting back out on the grass, getting out there before the season, get out, get a pro, see if you can do a playing lesson. Even if it's six holes, they might show you some different lines off the tees at your golf course that you wouldn't think about. They might show you some different shots that you would play and how to start saving shots without potentially changing your technique. So Dave, what have you got this? I've got it straight, Chris. Straight, okay. So Dave's got this straight. He's gone through his process. Let's see. Let's see the feedback. Does it start online? Is the pace good? And is the read good? That's what we want to know. Oh, oh you had to coming. drop. Let's give it 10 seconds. So we can see there, unless it drops Man. in the next 10 seconds, Dave's got out there with a par. Pace just was a little bit under. Yeah. So that would have kept its line. That was a good read. It was a good roll. It started on Dave's intended line but it fell off just because of the pace. If that was a foot pass pace, that would have hit the middle of the flag. It would have gone in. We would have been one under par. But, but unfortunately, we're, we're level going into the six. So let's get over there. They've just brushed on 140 downwind, which previously- Millicid, Millicid. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sorry, with Dave's Millicy as used, his Millicy range finder. And we've got 140 downwind, and Dave's gonna go seven iron here, so. Get it, that should be a nice and easy seven iron. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, but it might be slightly too much, but I'll give it a go. I'm still getting used to distances on him, Chris. Yeah, and we saw on the first hole uh, a couple of weeks ago now, Dave hit a seven iron from 142, and it did run just past pin high. It was a, a good, obviously, first shot into the first hole here at Waterfront. So this should be the club. But this is where getting used to your new clubs, getting your yardages, and we have weakened the loss, but Dave seems to be finding he might be actually getting some more distance, so watch out for that video. Smaller head though, so I think I'm going a bit more club head speed. Smaller head, yeah, and it's obviously finding the centre then as a result is actually harder. He's making Dave actually swing a little bit smoother, find the sweet spot. And as we know, we find the sweet spot, we're all going to gain a little bit more distance. So a little bit out to the right into the bunker so not the best strike but no. landed just front of the bunker yeah. so do you know what distance wise i mean i know i didn't get it wasn't the greatest of strikes so i thinned it slightly but it was still getting the distance it would have got there so the carry dropped a little bit as we'd expect from a thin but we're going to see if we can get up and down there we know dave's level par so let's see how his short game's standing up he hasn't got his new wedges yet but they will be here hopefully for next week. Good lie, we've got a little bit of, well, quite a long way to go, probably 35, 40 yards. Dave's having a look amongst the head covers. Which one are we going for, Dave? 56, Chris. 56. Highest good. loft I've got currently. Highest loft, so there's no 16 Dave's bag on the new wedges. I know it has resorted back to I a have. 60. Sorry, Chris, I, I just didn't take any notes of you oh, again. you, but he just wanted one in there. But 56, a great option from here because we need, obviously, a little bit more carry as it's a longer shot. Some people in here think, well, I have to go 60. They try and hit it with a full swing. They lose balance and it probably stays in there. Whereas here, we don't have to make as big a swing. We can then get that running out. And we know Dave's short game has been his savior. Let's see how his bunkers are. that it's a great shot distance wise yeah. stopped pretty quickly but easily carried over the lip left himself a bit of a tester again 20 feet guys that would be a good shot dave as we know is a 12 handicap golfer tour average even from there would probably be around about six to seven feet would you be happy with that shot dave i'd be more than happy because you just don't know how it's going to react out or wet sand no you know? wet sand is obviously raining as you can see probably by the camera lens and all the video 
you don't know how it's always going to come out. You have to maybe catch it a little bit cleaner so it's controlling your low point, which Dave has done well there, left himself an uphill putt or just a putt in general. If you're inside 30 feet, we know that's the area of the putting green where we should be two putting from. So Dave, at worst, here is going to two putt, which then we get out with a bogey, which is not bad. It was the shot off the tee, which was slightly pushed, which yeah. we're going to do as a mid handicapper. But then it's about getting out here and limiting the damage before we get to the seventh hole and another par four and another test for the TSR one. That's a great oh. effort there from Dave. Oh. So good pace, yeah. good start line, just a little misread. Yes. So Decent very put, easy. Though. Yeah. Decent put. Easy to break down. We're not expected to hole puts there for probably around 15 to 20 feet there. Again, one in four for a tour pro, for Dave. <laughs> who, who, who knows? knows? <laughs> so guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. That is the next part. That's the next two holes here. We're now one over par, heading into the final three. We can see that it's Dave's short game that is really keeping it together. Yeah. As we know, his irons are better. The driver is still struggling. So let's get on to the next tee. Let's test that TSR one out and make sure you check out how it performs in the studio against the Paradigm. But it's very interesting out on the golf course whenever you go for a fitting the driver might work great but it's much harder out on the golf course as Dave is showing you correct so we'll see you next week see you soon